Hi, I'm Clint Sheely, the Director of Utilities for the City of Columbia, and we're here at the Columbia Canal Water Treatment Plant. We want to talk about how we produce and distribute safe, award-winning water quality to our customers. Here at the Columbia Canal Plant, we bring water from the Broad River up through the historic Columbia Canal and onto this facility that's been here 110 years, upgraded many times. We settle out um, dirt and debris from the, from the water, we filter that water, we disinfect that water, store it, and then distribute it to our customers' homes through a network of pipes, pumps, and storage tanks. We also have a facility on Lake Murray that, that treats up to, uh, up to 75 million gallons of water for a rated capacity. Together, both plants average treating and distributing around 60 million gallons of clean, clear water every day. Here we're in the, the water quality laboratory at the Columbia Canal Water Treatment Plant. This is our laboratory that is certified by the Department of Health and Environmental Control for accuracy. In this laboratory, we're testing our water both throughout the treatment process and in the distribution system where we send water to our customers over 200,000 times a year. We've got analyzers that are continually monitoring the quality of the water, and we're also collecting samples, again, both of the, the finished water as it leaves both of our treatment plants, but also in your neighborhoods, and so we're sampling the water that you're drinking. This is Ms. Ketke Sheth. She is um, our water quality laboratory manager and is responsible for this testing that is occurring. Um, I wanted to bring up um, a con common concern that we're hearing as of late. Um, many of our customers have voiced concern about lead in drinking water, and it's a valid concern. Lead is dangerous because it's colorless, odorless, and tasteless. And so you wouldn't have any indication um, from the visual quality or the taste or the, the, the appearance of your water whether or not it may have a high concentration of lead. In the City of Columbia, we've been addressing lead for, for well over 20 years and have an excellent track record of compliance. In fact, in our most recent uh, series of analysis, all of our samples were below the detection level for lead in drinking water. That said, if you have concerns about lead in drinking water, you can call us at 803-545-3300 and we'll be glad to sample your water and uh, analyze that sample at no charge to you. We do about 160 samples a day in-house, in lab, between uh, four uh, lab techs and a chemist. And uh, we are always on top of it. It's a fresh uh, source water we sample. We sample our finished water. We do all the testings out in the operation lab, like 24 hours, they are due about 500 samples a day, continuous monitoring to make sure the water going out to the customer and distribution system is clean and safe. And then we do about 200 site samples a month throughout our distribution system to verify that it's a clean and safe water for our customer. and. From the finish to the end point, that's how we check it. When it goes to their house, the water is the same. We actually go to their house and check it from their tap, kitchen or outside tap water. So one of the initiatives is for us to um, respond to any discolored water complaints that we might have. And we want to give rapid response to our customers. If they call and let us know that they've got a discolored water issue, um, we can come out and sample that water, no charge to the customer. We'll also respond by flushing, and that flushing can occur in the, uh, the distribution system, at hydrants, in that community, and also at the customer's meter. And uh, that should clear up some of the discolored water. Um, that's our first step. Beyond that, calling and reporting those discolored water complaints, that helps us map where those uh, issues are happening, um, we know where they are. We, that helps us in our planning process for future capital improvements, possibly replacing those lines moving forward. I want to show you an example of, of what this colored water may mean and, and how home plumbing can also contribute to that issue. Um, we had recently had a call from a customer where um, their water was discolored. Um, we flushed their meter and the water was very clear at their meter. However, inside their home, 
the water was very discolored, had an orangish brownish tint. That home actually had galvanized plumbing, galvanized piping inside the home. After that tap was flushed, I believe it was the kitchen faucet, then the water cleared up. So the city will do its part to replace that aging infrastructure, but um, customers that have older plumbing, um, they also need to be aware that that can contribute to discolored water. So again, communicate those issues. We can come look and determine whether or not it's a problem in our piping network, help us identify future capital improvements, We'll flush, get that cleared up, but we can also communicate to you whether or not it may be an indication of home plumbing issues. Hi, I'm Jason Shaw, water engineer for the City of Columbia. Uh, we use uh, flushing of our system uh, as our first line of defense to combat water quality related problems uh, within our city's water system. Uh, Frank's going to demonstrate that right now. Uh, we have approximately 150 areas that we flush every two weeks um, and we have approximately uh, 450 locations that we flush once, uh, at least once a quarter or, or four times a year. Uh, this allows us to monitor what's going on in the system and, uh, and maintain water quality uh, throughout the distribution system. Our group is out daily flushing, and what we do, we open up hydrants. We also perform tests, one visual for turbidity or discoloration, and one it's a chemical test, chlorine. And the visual is that we open the hydrant up, and normally within a few minutes, we'll see some rust occasionally, and we allow that to clear, and once it clears, we run our chemical test. So what I normally do is I take a blank sample and I take a sample itself. Here's my blank and here's going to be my test sample. And I place my test sample in the right side of my gauge and my blank in the left side. I run one shot in there and what I want to do is I want to see my sample turn pink or dark pink. The darker the better. So that tells me that I have good chlorine in the system. And right now I have about three parts per million chlorine, which is really good, and that's what we expect to have. We currently have uh, $15 million worth of capital improvements uh, directly related to water quality related projects uh, in this year's budget. Uh, and over the next five years, we have $69 million worth of capital improvements that are identified um, um, in our budget for the next, over the next five years. Um, so we're making a tremendous investment in the system to try to address water quality um, related complaints uh, in the system. As always, if you have a discolored water complaint, please call our customer care line at 803-545-3300. Uh, we track all those complaints. We will come out and, and flush uh, those areas um, in the short term. But long term, we need that information to determine where uh, it's best to spend our capital improvement dollars. Um, so that's very important information for us to have. Some examples of some old older pipe that we're replacing throughout the system. This is an older piece of galvanized uh, pipe that was removed from the system uh, in late 2016. Um, as you can see, it's got some corrosion and stuff on the outside, and you can also see it's got uh, significant corrosion on the inside of the pipe. Those are mineral deposits that build up in the pipe over time um, and can clog the pipe. Those, those um, mineral deposits can break loose uh, over time and cause discolored waters um, complaints within the system. This type of pipe is also found in older homes uh, as well. Um, so this can also happen on the customer side uh, of the system. This is a piece of cast iron pipe. Um, find this in many of the older areas uh, of the system, uh, including the downtown areas and surrounding neighborhoods. The big difference between the pipe that we use today and, and the pipe we've used in the past uh, is newer pipe is lined with a cement lining that prevents this buildup from occurring uh, on the pipe. Short-term fix is flushing areas 
um, to try to minimize um, discolored waters, but longer term, uh, it's best to uh, replace these pipes, uh, and that's what we're investing back into the system. We're committed to helping you understand our water system, and we encourage you to attend one of our upcoming water customer evening drop-ins. Um, there you can learn about water quality, how to read your water meter, we'll answer any water billing questions you might have, and we'll share information about upcoming infrastructure projects that we've got to improve our, our utility as a whole, whether it be the water system, sewer system, or stormwater system. So we encourage you to join us for those drop-ins. For more information about scheduling, you can visit our website at www.columbiasc.net. I'm Clint Sheely. Thanks for joining us for this session of Knowledge on Tap.